DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Hey, yo, what's good? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. Hope you are enjoying your, what's today, Monday, T Tuesday afternoon. I hope you're having a good day. Listen, we got some more uh, information on the ASAP Rocky situation that I want to share with you all. Like I said, this is a story that came across my table, actually came across my inbox. Uh, a couple of you guys hit me up, asking me my input, my thoughts on the whole ASAP Rocky situation. So I did like a little bit of research, found out exactly what was going on uh, to the best of my knowledge. And I want to start this video off first with saying um prayers out to asap rocky his family his whole team and everybody that's involved uh with the situation i know this has to be a a hard time a, a struggle that they're going through right now um secondly i want to say and i want to emphasize this everything that i'm about to say in this video is allegedly keyword allegedly gotta just put that disclaimer out there anyways uh for those of you who are not aware um asap rocky um is a you gotta know asap rocky is i don't gotta explain that but anyways uh, asap rocky was involved in a situation out in i believe it was sweden uh where a fan or i don't even know if this was a fan basically some guy who was following uh him and his team around antagonizing him um from the video that we did see uh it looks like they gave the guy ample chances and ample opportunity to basically walk the other way they kept seeing in the video like yo bro just walk the other way just keep it moving like we try to do our own thing like stop following us uh they gave him a lot 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 of chances um but asap rocky messed up kind of messed up badly too and this is something that the media is not talking about uh, a lot of other channels a lot of other sources are not really explaining to the people um the reason why asap rocky in my opinion allegedly uh messed up is because you know a lot of times we um we blame artists and we tell artists that um, we kind of judge them like you're rapping about stuff that you're not actually living. Um, you're rapping about somebody else's life. Um, you're not really putting work in yourself. But then on the flip side of it, you uh, laugh at artists or you kind of blame them for having security. Now, with the video that ASAP Rocky, uh, that they did release the situation, looks like he did have a security guard uh, with him. But this is where he messed up. Now, hear me clear where he messed up at, right? So he's right for having a security guard. Um, he's in a whole different country. He's right for having a security guard. The only issue that I could see that ASAP Rocky were, it may have been wrong, um, I'll put it like this. ASAP Rocky is the bag. You're always supposed to protect the bag. So even when you look at other artists who sometimes may, say if you're an artist, you get pulled over in a car. There's a couple ratchets in the car. Um, you're the artist. You're the bag. You're not supposed to take the fall for it. Somebody else in the car is supposed to say, yo, listen, I'm just going to, we're going to get the lawyer. If push come to shove. I'm going I'm to hold this charge down. You keep making the money, feed my family, give me some bread, different stuff like that. I say it to say this. With this situation with ASAP Rocky, um, he shouldn't have been the person to have the physical, uh, physical altercation, physical situation with the person that was following him. Now, do I believe he was wrong for what he did? Absolutely not. If this was in America, this wouldn't even be a, a story. This would be done. Like, he got enough bread, pay a lawyer, whole situation over. The problem is, this wasn't in America. This was in a whole different country. This was in Sweden. I know a lot of you guys are saying, like, well, no, he got bread, he got rights, he used to pay his lawyer, his lawyer going to beat this charge. Um, no, you don't have rights in another country as an American citizen. When I say you don't have rights, I mean like you don't have the same rights that we have in America. Although we always say like stuff is unjust and it's unfair for us here in America, which is true. We're actually kind of spoiled with the rights and stuff that we do have compared to other countries. Now, when you're in a different country, and I learned this myself when I was down in Mexico or even in Canada. Actually, where I'm at right now, when I look out the window, I can literally see Canada where I'm from right now. And that's a whole different country. And I learned that there. Some of the stuff that you can do here in America, say if I would say, I'll, I'll put it like this, right? If that was me in that same situation, in America, ASAP Rocky went above and beyond what anybody would have done. Because I'm giving you one warning and then you you getting, you getting jaw, leg shot, something. Because my safety comes first. In another country, you got to kind of let your security do that. And I'm not saying you paying security to be a dojo, going to dojo mission just to mess up their life. But that's what you're paying security for. You're paying security to secure you. And I'm not saying security didn't do his job. Because from the video, it clearly looks like security tried to get in between ASAP Rocky and the guy who they had the altercation from. So um, ASAP Rocky security, salute to you. You definitely did your job. If I, if I was ASAP, I probably would have, and, and we're going to laugh at it, we're going to say, oh, he was a sucker, he was running behind security, but this is how you avoid these type of situations. You run behind security, you let security handle the situation, and if it turns out where security gets locked up, you're the bag. You can secure his situation, make sure that he's good, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, in 2019, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having security. That's a smart thing to do, especially when you're making a lot of money. Um, the other thing that's kind of bad for um, ASAP Rock, and I'm going to get into, like I said, there's some more uh, updates on the situation. I just want to talk about this first. I'm going to give you the updates on 
on the situation with ASAP Rocky. Uh, another thing, too, unfortunately, for ASAP Rocky is he's a type of artist where he's, how do you explain it? He's big in America, right? So he's definitely a big artist in America, but he's massive in other countries. This is why he loves other countries so much, does a lot of touring outside of the country. Um, he just embraces the whole world. He's a, I don't have anything bad to say about um, ASAP. He embraces the world. And the reason why I say this is kind of bad for him, because if it was an artist that, say, that was real big in America, say an artist like uh, Beyonce, if this happened to Beyonce, this definitely wouldn't happen to Beyonce, but if this situation happened to Beyonce, she'd probably be home the same day because... That would put pressure on that company as such a such a big person that that would put pressure on that country to yo you got to do something like we 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 don't want this altercation with America with, with with the people in general with a lot of connections and different stuff like that too. Um, America's relationship with Sweden isn't um, how do I say it? It's not. It's not a bad relationship. They do have a good relationship, but they're not like the best of friends, especially with the president that we have right now with President Trump. A lot of other countries don't want to make it seem like America is running their country or Trump can just make decisions for their uh for, for their country. Um, back when Obama was the president, or whatever like that, um, they were saying, and a lot of you guys probably don't know this because you're not into politics. I'm not really into politics either. It's just at nighttime I can't sleep, so I'll be watching CNN and stuff like that. So I I, I know about the situation. Um, basically, what they were saying was um, Obama was the first president, like the first American president, to actually visit that part of Sweden and kind of make that connection with the government that's there. So if this would have happened back when Obama was in office, they had a good enough relationship with both countries where they might not have just totally let ASAP Rocky off but they would have made his situation a little bit more um what is it called more livable more workable whatever when when he was in when he was in office but with president trump um he don't he probably don't even know who asap rocky is he, he really don't care either way so it's not really like he's going to be pressured to make a call over there to try to work this type of situation out so it's kind of bad that asap rocky was the one who physically had the altercation with the guy it's bad that he's in another actual country because like when you in another country like realistically like when i was down in mexico you can basically jaywalk and they can tell you like yo that's illegal to jaywalk um 10 years minimum like you, you're doing 10 years and i know here in america like i ain't about to do 10 years i'm gonna beat this joint little probation community service and all that no if you know the country pretty much whatever they say is what they say that's what you gotta uh serve now as far as the updates with asap rocket they're saying while he's in there right now i believe it was his manager who was saying that um the reason why they're not giving him a bell or kind of letting him out to fight this is because they're saying that he's a flight risk now i know i was reading a lot of comments they were saying like he's not a flight risk like he goes to these countries all the time like he'll be more than glad to go back to one of these countries um, honestly i'm just letting you know like Honestly, if it was me, I'm in another country. They telling me that I got a assault charge, and there's a chance, a possibility that I could be doing six years for this. They told me I had to do six days for this joint. I'm not coming back until it's clear. I'm going back home to America, hiring a lawyer, see what they can work out from there. If they can't work out some type of little slap on the wrist and all that, I'm not going back. So I can kind of understand that. Um, is it fair? No. Is it in America? No. Um, but I want y'all input on this too. I want y'all to. Um, Comment, let me know how y'all feel about the situation. But like I said, they were saying that he was a um, he was a flight risk. They're saying like in the cell that he's in now, he's basically like in a hole, like solitary confinement. They're saying that he's basically only able to eat an apple because the water and stuff is dirty. Um, I know like when I was in Mexico, like the, the not saying that their water is dirty, but compared to, like drinking their water would make us sick. In other countries, um, they can drink it because their bodies is used to it and they're immune to it, or like that too. But if we drink it, it'll make you sick all the way down to even like when we ordered a salad while we was in Mexico, we had to ask them like. What did you rinse this salad off with? Because if it was with tap water, um, probably can't eat it, whatever like that. So prayers out to ASAP Rocket. It's got to be a higher situation, especially when you're when you're when you're not in the wrong. Like honestly, I, I know you guys watch a lot of the videos and different things that I, I put on the channel, and never ever have you ever heard me say free this person, free this person. I just did a video on Kodak Black where I was saying stop saying free Kodak Black because he was doing everything to get locked up. Um, honestly, in this situation, I really do hope that they free. Um, ASAP Rocky and that this situation is able to put it behind him because he's losing a lot of money uh, canceling shows just being locked up as an artist you got a lot going on a lot of bags coming your way and when you're locked up that can kind of like mess up, your, mess up your situation so I don't know I think it's an unfortunate situation he did like from that video when you guys watch that video he gave the guy a lot of chances. He even he, he even put his hand on him. Was like, "Yo, bro, like walk that way. Like we don't want to fight you. We don't want a situation like this with you." But sometimes when you're in that situation, I, like I said before, with the whole security thing, security should have did it. In hindsight, you could think about it like, "Yeah, maybe I should have did that." But when it's right there 
on you. You never know how you're going to react. I don't know how I'm going to react until I'm actually in that situation. Uh, well, no, I'm lying because I'm in another country. I'm not doing none of that. Like security, you handle that, or we not even we not even going. Especially not videotaping it. Um, definitely not putting that out. Um, and I know he was probably videos. It's messed up because he probably was videotaping it just so he could have a record so this wouldn't happen. A lot of times, even when we get put over by police like that, too, we record it so when we go to court, we can say, like, yo, listen, I was in the right. But what we are missing is that this was in a different country. Different country, a lot of times that stuff doesn't matter. Like, you could be 100% in the right, but if it's a different country, it's, it's pretty much what they say. Like I said, uh, prayers out to ASAP Rocky, uh, his family, they whole situation. Yeah, um, but anyways, um, hop in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this uh, ASAP Rocky situation. Um, what do you think should happen? What do you think he could do in this situation? Honestly, there's really nothing, in my opinion, that he could do besides just wait it out. Like, when he get out, I know we're going to hear it. This interview is going to be crazy. Have you ever heard about the interview that he did when he was talking about he was locked up with uh, Casanova and all of them and the whole little shower situation and everything? Like, I know when he gets out, um, and, and I'm saying when he gets out because I'm praying that he does get out, so we're going to speak it that he does get out. When he gets out, it's going to be some crazy interviews. He's, he's going to look back on this and talk about the, the living conditions and all that, and it's going to be crazy. But what I wanted to ask you guys um, also, um, Bandana fam, like I said, you guys are a Bandana fam. If you're watching this video right now, you tied in with DJ Bandana Black. You're officially Bandana fam. Matter of fact, that's what I want you all to do. You tied in with DJ Bandana Black. If you tied in with me, just give me the 100 emoji. You know, little 100 joint. Just put that in the comments. 100 emoji. Let me know that you tied in with DJ Bandana Black. But what I want to ask the Bandana fam is, do you guys like it better when I do the videos like this, where it's an actual video of me talking and you can see me talking eye to eye, mano y mano, face to face? Or do you like it better when I just have like the little thumbnail or the picture or a video playing and me just talking in the background? I kind of like it better with the whole video joint like this. Not saying I'm going to do every video like that, but I just wanted y'all opinion. Um, which way do y'all like it better? I like it better we're doing a video like this where you can actually see me and we can talk. And I can still add the things in um, after the fact. The reason why I do like it better because I just dry dropped the grip on this camera right here. And I kind of want to use it a little bit more. So, y'all let me know those. Whatever y'all say. If y'all like it better the other way with just the thumbnail, you're looking at a picture, hearing me talk, that's cool. If you like it better where you can actually see me, that's better. And I would like that better also. Anyways, DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Uh, Facebook, uh, Christian Mingo. I'm playing about Christian Mingo. Even though I might, I, I think I actually did. Like back when I was, I think I actually did create it on some joking type stuff. Created a Christian Mingo account, but I'm not. I'm not on there. If it, if it is a account on there, I'm not logged into that. That's some scam thing. But I might still have a MySpace joint. I don't know. But anyways, make sure you follow me, DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo, and I'm out. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.